What is going on everybody, it is your boy Nothing But Skills and today's video is going to be showing you how to unlock all 12 Hunter masks. These are the secret masks that are in the Division 2 and I released two videos on my main channel and I felt that with this second channel it would be good to just combine all the Hunter masks and where they're located and how to complete them as a solo player. So if you guys haven't watched that video or if you have and you just want to have one video so you can come back to, this is the video for you. So I will be showing you guys how to unlock all 12 Hunter masks as a solo player so let's get right into it guys so the first mask is going to be located just north of the leaking memorial if you look where the shade tech cache is just north of it there's actually an underground tunnel right there so that is where we need to head to activate the first mask so right here where i'm showing you on the map is where you want to be you're going to climb down this ladder and once you get through this ladder you're going to run through the tunnels and you'll end up in a room that has a computer now that computer is what you need to use to activate the first mask because this is going to make the hunter spawn. Now there are some things that you guys can get if it's the first time you're down here. You'll probably see some echoes. You'll probably see some really good loot. So I recommend if you're down there just pick all that stuff up. But the first thing we're going to do is we need to look for the computer. So where's the computer that we need? It's not this one. It's not the one that's going to be right above this loot crate. It's going to be the one that's over here by itself. Now, once you interact with the computer, it's going to turn on a light and you're going to see a little moon over an X. Well, that X is where we need to go and the moon means it needs to be nighttime. So some of these detected. you have to do during the night and some of them, it doesn't really matter when you do them. So now that we activated the computer, we can head on out and then head towards the next place we need to go to is where that X was. So if we mark where the X is, you can see there's a shade tag right there. So it's easy to pinpoint where it is. We're just gonna follow this all the way to an area that's kind of run down that there's nothing there. But there is this one blinking light in the tower. If you look on the map, this is exactly where we wanna be. Now, once we shoot out this light, that is when the hunter will spawn. So for this hunter, I use the LMG. I just felt like it worked a little bit better. I shot out the light, the hunter appears, and then we need to drop him. Now, one thing I recommend you guys doing is if you can get into battle when there's other NPCs helping out this will help you out a lot you can see there's some NPCs to the rear of him and they're shooting them those are enemies so I have to be careful too but they're shooting them they're making them have to move and then that gives me an opportunity to shoot him and I'm able just to finish him with my LMG because my LMG hits really hard and since the LMG has a big clip I never really have to stop firing and then I'm able to kill him and that is all I have to do now I just have to run and collect the mask and then I am done with this hunter so let's take a quick look at how this mask looks. So the next mask we're gonna focus on is the Wrath Mask. This is another Hunter mask that is located just south of Capitol Hill at that intersection I just marked on the map. Now I'll show you guys again in just a second once we get there. So we need to get to a memorial wall that has a bunch of names on that wall. And this is where the next Hunter is going to spawn. Now we do have to do an action to get the Hunter to spawn. So this is the wall we're looking for. It has a bunch of names on it and I'll show you on the map right now. So it's right at this intersection just south of Capitol Hill. Now, first thing you need to do is shoot out this light. Now you can't see the names anymore, right? Now we have to salute the wall. We're going to have to do this a few times. And then once we do it enough, the hunter is going to spawn. Now, once you salute enough, the hunter spawns. And then that's when I recommend get into some type of cover. And you have to be careful because once he does spawn right there, he puts a lot of damage on you. But don't worry about if you die. Just like I died here, there's a safe house not too far from here. Now, once you respawn, like I respawn here, I would recommend trying to pull the hunter away from where he's at. Because if you can get him fighting NPCs, like the hunter's fighting an NPC right now, look. He starts pushing towards the NPCs. I get in cover. I let them start fighting. So I'm using the NPC to my advantage. And then I start firing, I'm able to drop him, and then all I have to do is finish off the other NPCs. So that's one recommendation I have for you guys. If you guys are having issues doing this solo and you have nobody to play with, use the NPCs to your advantage because a lot of times they'll focus the hunter versus focusing you, and then all you have to do is finish them off and then go collect your mask. And it's that simple. And that's how you get the Wrath Mask. So let's take a quick look at the Wrath Mask. Now one thing you'll notice is this is the mask that I like using the most. I just feel like it matches the outfit that I wear and I like it a lot. So this is my personal favorite out of all the 10 masks I have right now. So the next two masks are gonna be west of the attic safe house and that's where you wanna go. There's gonna be a huge hotel. There's gonna be some stairs you wanna go up 
and you want to go into the middle of the hotel it's run down and there is a pool there now you have to do this at nighttime or right at dusk so right when it starts getting really foggy or right at nighttime is when you can do this so I'm gonna pinpoint where you need to be on the map so remember west of the attic safe house right there now once you're in the pool what you want to do is do some jumping jacks now once you do the emo for jumping jacks you're gonna get the smoke that appears and once it appears don't do what I just did right here I messed this up so bad I almost got killed you want to run away and try to get some distance in between them what you can do is pull them away from you and once you pull them away they either will chase you or they won't now these hunters didn't chase me so I came back with my sniper rifle and I was able to hit him pretty hard and that's why I tell you if you use your sniper rifle with this build you can get some really good headshots and once you break that armor it's pretty much game over for them so I was able to drop one of the hunters right there and the second hunter started pushing me he starts using his skills on me and I know if I don't leave right now I'm gonna end up dying because his skills are just too much for me to stay alive so I start pulling him away and the good thing about it is I have some friendlies out there fighting I have some enemy NPCs out there fighting so I'm gonna draw him to me I'm healing up right here I'm gonna get my M700 ready I'm gonna reload and make sure I have enough bullets in the magazine to finish him off with a couple shots so once I'm fully loaded I take aim I start firing he starts pushing me and it's pretty much game over for him because I'm getting headshots on him and I hit him one more time and that's it baby that is it that is how you get these two masks so you're gonna end up getting two masks here this is the revenant mask and then I just have to go pick up the Midas mask that dropped from the first hunter and then the Midas mask is right here so we're gonna pick this up and let's take a quick look at it so this is the Midas mask right here and then let's take a look at the revenant mask now the next mask we're gonna be going for is the demon mask and it's gonna be located just west of the theater right at this question mark right here where it says unknown activity and this is where we want to go to so once we arrive to this building there's going to be some escalators going down and what we have to do is follow this all the way around but i would be very careful if you still have the unknown activity that means that there will be some npcs you need to clear out first but my recommendation is leave them alive because you're going to see what i use them for they're going to actually help me kill the hunter so once you come up to them, if you're very quiet, you can sneak up and climb up on this ledge right here with this yellow tarp. And then there's going to be two rocks. Now what you have to do is hit four targets. There's going to be four targets in these windows. And there's one target right there. There's one target there, one target there. So these four targets you need to hit. As soon as I fire my gun, the NPCs are going to target me. So I'm going to hit them as fast as I can. As soon as I shoot it, I get that little noise. And all of a sudden, boom, a hunter appears. And guess what happens? They start focusing the hunter. And that gives me time to really focus the hunter and not have to really worry about the hunter focusing me. So I'm just laying it into this hunter, right? I'm just putting all this damage. And before you know it, he doesn't even have time to heal because he was getting shot from them. I was shooting him. And then now I just have to clear all the NPCs out. I can do the unknown activity and go collect my mask. So once you clear everything out, you head over here, you're going to see where it says demon mask and there we go. That is how you get the demon mask. Let's take a look at the demon mask. So the next mask we're going to be going for is the crimson mask and this is going to be located just west of district union invaded mission. It's the building that I just marked right there. So if you happen to have this control point that I'm at, you can spawn in right there. So once you guys arrive at the building, there's going to be a doorway you can run into and there's an action you need to do. So on one side, we're gonna have the telephone. So that is something that we have to do after we head to the other side first. So we need to activate the computer that's directly across from us. So once we run across this courtyard, this is where the hunter does spawn. But first we have to do what I'm telling you guys to do. We have to run over here. You have to hit the action button where it says interact with this computer. And then now you're gonna run directly across. And this can be done during the day. You do not have to do this at nighttime. So we're going to run across right here. You see the telephone. We're going to interact with it. And boom, there goes the hunter. Now, what I recommend you guys doing is if you guys are solo, don't fight the hunter in this courtyard. Pull him outside where you have some allies. A lot of times, if you have that control point, the allies will be doing a patrol. And that'll give you time 
to focus the hunter i can't stress this enough this is already tough enough to do by yourself but if you have some npcs it will help you out now if you are running with the squad you guys probably can knock this out pretty quick since it is only one hunter but once you kill the hunter all you have to do is go pick up the mask and then you have the crimson mask so let's take a look at this mask So the next four masks, yes, four, in my previous video, I showed you that you could get three of these masks in this location, but you can actually get the fourth mask in this location. So the location where you can get all four masks is exactly where I'm showing you right now. This location is just north of the castle settlement, the one settlement that you never really occupy. And then right above it, you have your control point, And then right above that, you'll have exactly where you want to be. So if you look at the map right now, right where it says territory control and it has the red symbol, that's where the hunter spawn. There's a Christmas tree there. The building next to it is where we have to hit the switch. Now you do have to wait for it to be nighttime because if you do it during the daytime, the hunters will not come out. So once it gets dark in game and you can see the moon, then you can run over to where I was and you're gonna see the switch. Control point. And that's Approximate. the lever you have to pull. Now once you pull the lever, all you have to do is head straight towards the Christmas tree and then run around the Christmas tree and then you're gonna know when the hunters spawn. My recommendation is don't try to fight all three hunters right here. Pull them away and try to use the enemy, try to use the civilians that are in the area to help you out. Because if not, you're gonna die. And I died a lot while I was completing this. The good thing about it is even if you die, all you have to do is respawn and look for the hunters because the hunters will stay out. Even if it turns daytime, you can find the hunters. Now I would not try this until you're level 30 because if you try to do this before you're level 30, they will kill you instantly. So you can do this on world tier one, level up your gear, get some pretty good gear, and then try to finish them off as fast as you can. It's going to take you guys a little bit of time. I found the easiest way to do this solo is to make sure you have the NPCs help you out. So whether they're enemies or whether they're allies, put some damage on the hunter. And then when the hunter takes a lot of damage, you run in there to finish him off. Just like I did right here. So I had allies on my right shooting him. His health was low and I went in there. So we killed the first hunter and we got the cross mask. Now we have two more hunters to get. I probably want to say I died over 20 times trying to complete this. But as long as I kept respawning, they were there. Now I found that grenades help out, using explosive bullets, using your specialized weapons help out a lot. The way I finished off the second hunter was with a grenade and I got the diamond mask. Now one thing that happened when I did kill this hunter, he respawned. So I don't know if that's supposed to happen or what happened. He literally got up like the undertaker and finished me off but I was able to collect the diamond mask now for the final and third mask this hunter likes to hang out in the grass so he's in these bushes over here you can't see him I would recommend throwing down a turret and then switching to a LMG I had a sniper rifle it wasn't working for me because I'm not specced for marksman rifle damage so I ended up switching to a LMG and you're gonna see how I finish it in just a second now, if you guys do this in a group, in squad play, I'm sure it's a lot easier than doing it solo, but not everybody has someone to play with, so I was trying to show you guys some easy tips and tricks to do this solo. Remember, use your allies, use the NPC, enemy NPCs to help you out, and for this last guy, when he's in the bush, switch to an LMG, and then just finish him off because he won't have time to heal because all of these hunters can heal and all these hunters hit really hard. And the 10th mask can be found in that same location. This is the Phantom mask. He does appear. The one thing I noticed happened to me is I went to this location, only got three hunters drop masks for me, but I killed like five hunters. I went back, reactivated the tree, and he came out. I was able to drop him, and to my surprise, he ended up dropping the mask for me. So this is mask number 10. Remember there are two more masks. So this is mask number 10, the phantom mask. So for the next two masks, we need to is head over to the Washington Monument. Now there is a checkpoint there. So if you have this checkpoint unlocked, you can just fast travel there. Most likely you probably won't have it unlocked. So you need to go there and recapture it. One thing when you first walk up on the monument, you might actually spot the hunter like I did. But even if you spot him here, there's no way you can kill him at this moment. 
The first thing we need to do is capture this monument and take over this control point so we have access to the supply room. Once you get the notification that it says Washington Monument Captured, you'll get a notification that says access to supply room unlocked. And that's the next step in unlocking this mask. We need to head to the supply room and then go all the way inside. Now once you get inside these doors, you need to open the supply room doors. Now once you open the supply room doors, now you have to do is just go down the rope slide all the way down and there's going to be a computer there now you can only do this at nighttime guys remember you cannot do this during the day so once you get in front of this computer you need to interact with it and then it's going to show you a map what i did is i took a screenshot of this map with my cell phone but you guys have this video right so you guys need to find those three locations and there's going to be three graves there and you need to salute those graves so i'll show you each location once we get there. So the first grave I'm going to go to is going to be just southeast of the flooded lead control point. So we're going to head there and then I'll show you an exact pinpoint once we arrive. So the first gravesite I went to had some wheelbarrows next to it. Once you get in front of the gravesite, this is where you need to salute. So you need to emote salute the grave. Once you do, you're going to see that the screen flickers a little bit. So take a look when I salute, it starts to flicker. And then it stops so that's how you know you correctly saluted the grave and let's take a look exactly where i'm at so this is the pinpoint take a look at this mark it on your map however you want to do it but that is where the first graveyard is so the next grave site is going to be southeast of the control point so it's a little bit closer to the control point so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fast travel back to the control point that i'm back at the control point we're going to mark the grave site it's just south of it so we're going to head there and once I get there, I'll show you exactly where the pinpoint is of where I'm at and where the gravesite is. So once you arrive to this gravesite, it's kind of hidden in between some bushes, but it's right there. It's one by itself. You just have to get close enough. I'm going to show you where the monument is. You can see I see Unite. When I saluted this time, I didn't get it, so I have to get a little bit closer. So if you don't get the flicker, get a little bit closer. Once you get the flicker, you know you saluted correctly. And let me show you. So it's southwest a little bit, but it's south directly right where I hit that checkpoint. And the next one's going to be northeast of it. So we're going to head to that one right now. Now, once we get to this one, you have to do the same thing. So this is the third and final grave site that we have to salute. Once we get there, you're going to see it looks like it's two grave sites. You see the wheelbarrow. All you have to do is salute it. Once I salute, I get the flicker. So that is the third and final grave site. Now let me show you where it is on the map. So directly northeast. Now once you get this, you're not going to have enough time to hit the computer again. So you have to wait to the following day. You can try, but the two times that I've tried, I wasn't able to do it. I had to wait the next day to hit the computer for the second time. Now the specific time that you have to wait for is 1900. Easy way to check this time out is go into photo mode and on the top right hand corner, it'll show you that it's 1900. So once it's 1900, that's when you'll be able to interact with the computer. And then now you'll get a screen with a big circle. So that means anywhere in that circle, the hunter can spawn. Now the most known location where the hunter spawn is at this building where I'm marking on the map. So it's just north of the monument. Now you should get a flicker once the hunter is nearby. What I've noticed is if the hunter sees you, he will take off. So right here, the hunter actually saw me first before I saw him and he took off. I missed the shot and then I had to wait a full day to see him again. My recommendation is using your specialized weapons because those are the only weapons that are gonna do enough damage to drop the hunter so he doesn't run away. If there are any NPCs in the area fighting, the hunter will not spawn. So you have to make sure you clear the area and there's no NPCs in the area. But right here is what I'm talking about, the flickering. You start hearing that flickering, monuments flickering. So I knew he was up there. So I start peeking, I'm peeking, I'm peeking and I see his head. So I'm gonna line up my shot. I hit him directly and I finish him off. I turn around and we have the specter mask. So let's take a look at that one. It's actually really cool looking. I, I like it a lot. Probably gonna be one of the masks I use more often than not. Now the final mask is gonna be located just north of here. I'm gonna pinpoint the general location. Once we get there, I'll show you exactly where the mask is. 
Now you do have to do this at night because you do have to hit the same computer at the monument and then you head there. So now we're in the general location and I'm going to show you exactly where it's at. So it's not exactly where I pinpointed but I just want you to put that it's right here. Because we're going to take a left into this area right here. You look up where it says general care. You're going to cut through here. And this is going to be the best place for you to shoot them. So right where that crane is, I'm going to zoom in with my sniper rifle, a hunter appears there. So you have to wait till it's 1900, go hit the computer, and then come back here. Now one tip I've noticed is he doesn't spawn all the time, but the way he does spawn a lot is if you wait till it gets a little bit more dark. And make sure you clear out everything in your area. So everything in the general area, you want to make sure you clear out. And then you're going to notice he's up there. I'm using the 50 cal from the specialized weapon. I felt that was the only weapon that could kill it. If you headshot him, you will drop him. And this is without even upgrading my specialized weapon. So a really big tip is to make sure you clear out the whole area that I'm circling right now. You want to make sure that's all green because I've noticed that's the only time he really likes to spawn. So let's take a look at this mask. And this is the ghost mask. It's pretty cool. It's pretty basic. Um, it's not my favorite, but... I'm definitely glad I'm done with all the masks. I have 12 for 12. Remember, if you guys have any question on any of the other masks, use the comment section down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, smash the thumbs up if you found it useful. If you're new to my channel, first time watching a video, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on. So when I release a video, you guys get notified. And as always, guys, if I don't see you guys in the dark zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills out.